Hey there, it's Ash from Elementor. In this lesson, we're going to explore web hosting options for a WordPress and Elementor website. Web hosting is one of the most important factors when it comes to optimizing your website for performance. There are several different types of web hosting available, and your decision on this can have a big impact on the experience that your customers receive when they visit your website. Whilst there are many more types of web hosting available, in this lesson we're going to explore the most suitable web hosts for the majority of WordPress and Elementor websites. These will include shared hosting, managed WordPress hosting, virtual private servers, and dedicated hosting. Before we explore the different types of web hosting which are available, it's a good idea to consider some other important factors first. Uptime is the amount of time your website is up and running. As a website owner, the minimum that you should accept here is 99%. And this should be something that you continually monitor to ensure a better experience for your website's visitors. Resources account for several elements when it comes to web hosting. These are most commonly RAM, hard drive space, and bandwidth. RAM, or random access memory, is a component needed on a server which allows data to be read almost instantly. The higher your RAM, the faster your website will respond. Hard drive space will determine just how much space is available for you to store your files. And bandwidth will control how much data can be transferred to your users in a given amount of time. Security is also a major factor when considering a web host. We highly recommend you choose a web host which provides the following features. An SSL certificate, backup and restore functionality, malware scanning and protection, and firewall implementation. The last important factor to consider is support. When looking for a web host, you should look for companies that provide around-the-clock support. Live chat is an extremely useful feature as it means you, you can normally resolve your issue in real time. Now that we understand some of the key elements to look out for when choosing a web host, we'll explore the different types which were available. Let's get started by looking at the most common type of web hosting, shared hosting. Shared hosting is the most affordable option and provides a good starting point for many users. As a shared hosting customer, you are allocated a section of a server to host your website files. On the same server, there could potentially be hundreds of other websites hosting their files there as well. The resources of the server are shared between all websites. Whilst this is an extremely cost-effective way to host a website, it is better suited for small, lower traffic websites as the other websites on the server can impact the resources which are available. If you have a high traffic website, it's probably best to explore the following options instead. Managed WordPress hosting can certainly be more expensive than shared hosting, but it does come with many more benefits. Because of the success of WordPress, many web hosting providers have created dedicated services for these websites. Being a managed service, the web host takes care of everything. The WordPress updates, the daily backups, uptime, scalability, speed, and security. This provides an uncomplicated service which allows the website owner complete freedom to run their business without the worry of having to maintain their website. Moving on from managed WordPress hosting, we have a virtual private server, or more commonly known as a VPS. This service partitions a physical server into multiple virtual servers, which are specifically configured to the customer. Whilst you are technically sharing a server with the others, the resources associated with your VPS are entirely dedicated to you. There are two types of VPS, which are managed and unmanaged. If you do not have the technical know-how to manage a VPS yourself, it would be wise to consider a managed VPS so that your web hosting company can take care of all the system upgrades and will be available for support if required. Our last web hosting option is a dedicated server. A dedicated server is likely the most expensive option, but it does provide the most flexibility. Having a dedicated server means that your website has its own server all to itself. It is completely scalable and tends to provide the most reliable service and security to your website's visitors. In the last topic in our web hosting lesson, we're going to take a look at a content delivery network. Content Delivery Network, or CDN, is a widely distributed network of servers that helps to reduce the physical distance between the server and the user, resulting in faster loading times for web pages. This allows users from all over the world to access the same high-quality content without slow loading times. 
Hosting companies like Bluehost have their own CDN included in their web hosting packages, but not all web hosts provide this service. A great free option is a service called Cloudflare. But what is Cloudflare? On their website, Cloudflare describes their services like so. Cloudflare is one of the biggest networks operating on the internet. People use Cloudflare services for the purposes of increasing the security and performance of their websites and services. Not only do they have a network of servers around the globe, which will help to deliver your website to users in a speedier way, they also provide security by protecting websites from malicious activity like DDoS attacks, malicious bots, and other intrusions. Signing up for Cloudflare is free and easy. However, it does require you to amend your name service. For more information on this, please consult your domain name provider. Choosing web hosting doesn't need to be a daunting task. And I hope that you now have a much better understanding on what you should be looking out for when choosing a web host, as well as the different types of web host services which are available.